What's up, Pisces? It's your girl, 7, 7, 10, 10, and welcome to your August 2022 general reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into the video, disclaimer, this is not, and I repeat, not a love and light channel. If you are looking for sunshine and rainbows, goody, goody, gumdrops, and whatnots, this is not the place for you. If you are looking for a reader who's going to lie to you, again, this is not the place for you. However, if you are looking for the truth, serve straight up. Just like the libations that we pour for our ancestors, this is the place, and I am your girl. Welcome. Pisces, if you are here, if you are still here, congratulations. You've made it past the disclaimer. You are a real one. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Click your notification button so that you are notified whenever a new Pisces reading is released. And heavy on the like button. Liking this video pushes it to other Pisces who may benefit from it just like you. All right, if you are not new, welcome back, Pisces. It's because of you that this channel continues to grow and flourish. If you are looking for personal readings, hit that description box. SavvySentient.com is where you will book. Unless you're looking for a quick read, then you would just shoot me an email. It's only 1111, and it is linked in the description box below as well. All right, so for your channeled message, Pisces, when I was channeling for you, Spirit said, you may get what you want but your thoughts will be guarded, okay? And the way I interpreted that is even though you may be getting what you want, it may be leaving you feeling unfulfilled, but in an effort to not come off as ungrateful, you will choose to not express that, okay? So the stone that I chose for you was the Lapis Lazuli. This is for cosmic protection. It purifies lower energies and aligns you with higher vibrations. It ex helps you in expressing your emotions. So those things that you are um, withholding, that lack of fulfillment that you refuse to speak on, this will help you express it because I do feel like there is a need for you to express it and it helps you speak your truth okay so sometimes it's not about being ungrateful or coming off as ungrateful so much as it is about um how you express your discontent okay so let's get into this reading and see what this is all about all right so spirit what is the overall energy of this reading for Pisces. What is the overall energy of this reading? For Pisces. And of course I see the four of cups in there. Discontent. Three of swords. Some type of pain. Some type of heartache. Some type of grief. Hmm. You may get what you want. but your thoughts will be guarded. For some of you, and I did get this feeling when I was getting that message, that for some of you, there may be some type of betrayal that you are perpetrating, okay? And in this betrayal, you get what you want, but then you never speak on what it took to get there because you don't want people to know like what, what levels you stoop to. Now, I don't know if that's for everybody, but you don't want people to know what levels you stoop to to get what you wanted, which is why you guard your thoughts and you don't speak about what it took to get it. Tell me more about the situation, Spirit. This could be cross watcher energy too. Star, wish fulfillment. <laughs> wish fulfillment, hope, healing. Getting what you wanted. <laughs> by means of betrayal though, Pisces, or by means of four of wands with the fool. I don't know if you've embarked on a new relationship, a marriage. I 
a family even. Tell me more. Four of Cups in the reverse. The Four of Cups in the reverse. Mm. I feel like you were in a situation before you got what you want where you didn't speak about how unhappy you were. You suppressed your... Uh, You suppress your discontent. Five of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. I should put that here. Oh, you know what this is giving? This is giving that you push for something. You may have lied, you may have cheated, you may have deceived, you may have whatever. Or a cross watcher, if this is you. Take your L and hold it. Um, but you've done all of this to get what you wanted only to find out that it was not what you thought it was going to be. Like, this is definitely a situation of the grass wasn't greener. So for some of you all, you may have taken someone's house, uh, partner. You may have, um, I don't know. If, if they weren't together, maybe they were like talking and you like, weasel your way in and scoop their little boo or whatever but you've gained something you've gained something and you went about getting it in a way that was not forthright that was not honest that was deceptive and now that you got it it's like you don't want to and for some of you all it may not be deceptive to anyone other than yourself but now that you got it, you don't want to admit that it's not what you thought it would be. So you're just rolling with it. Um, for some of you all, this is a relationship where um, you, you are dealing with someone that maybe your family, your friends don't like. But you push so hard for it that now that you have it, you cannot... Or you feel like you cannot go to your family and friends to complain about it. So it's kind of like you're just enduring the bullshit. Even though you're not happy. Because you don't want to admit to anyone that you got what you wanted and you're not happy with it. Okay. King of Swords. Truth. Justice. Wisdom. You may be um, speaking to someone who is not a family member, not a friend, or just like someone who you feel is wise, someone that you feel is uh, knowledgeable, trying to get guidance from them. But I feel like your friends and your family are not who you're talking to. Maybe it's like a coworker, or a boss, uh, a boss, or somebody at work, or I don't know, just some older gentleman or an older person who's very wise. You may be running to them for guidance, for advice. Tell me about the King of Swords. Or this could just be Spirit saying that you need to do the mature thing. You need to do the mature thing if you want happily ever after. For some of you, you all are wanting to walk away from whatever it is that you gain from a marriage towards a King of Swords, Ten of Cups, because you are happier with this person or you think you will be happier with this person. You have some type of attraction to them. Or maybe this is someone walking away from you for the same reason. Mm. Tell me more. Ooh, tower. Win it all. Three of cups. Yes, this third party situation is about to be exposed. Okay. So for some of you all, you all fought for a relationship. You got it. It turned out to not be everything that you wanted it to be because of a third party situation taking place. Um, so you would 
like to act as though everything is all good in the public eye, but it is not. You are actually um, hurting. You're actually in pain as you put on a brave face for the world. As you endure this third-party situation, you are... Um, it's really taking everything that you have in order to present as though all is well. But with this tower energy and finding out that there is a third party situation or there is something um, awry happening within this connection, it's going to take all your strength to bring this to a close, okay? To bring this to an end. And in that ending, you will find a rebirth, okay? You will find uh, with every ending, there is a new beginning, okay? The sun rises again every morning, all right? So whatever this is, you don't want to speak on it, but you're not happy. But spirit is going to uh, disrupt this, okay? Spirit is going to disrupt this. It feels like a lesson, it feels like um, you were warned, you were advised against doing this, but you just had to have your way. You just had to get what you wanted and spirit gave it to you. And so now after however long of enduring the situation, now spirit is going to disrupt it and, and take it away and hope that you learned the lesson, hope that this was a transformative lesson for you with this death card okay so let's go ahead and get your monology monology what messages do we have for pisces a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in libra it's a time to give rather than to take And luck is on your side. So the resolution to this is going to be a positive one or at least one that favors you in some way. The new moon in Virgo card is asking for um, another route, a different way out, a different solution, a different resolution. Okay. Your initial resolution was that this works out. Okay. That this is everything that you wanted. But it's not. And so spirit is going to come through and disrupt it. And it feels like they're asking you to be okay with that, to accept this alternate ending that is happening for you, for you, even if it's painful for you, even if it's uncomfortable, it's for you. Okay. The win-win outcome is forecast. So whether you understand it as a win or not, it is because in the long run, it's going to serve you positively. Luck is on your side. New moon and Sagittarius. This is in your best interest. This is for you. This is for you. I don't, I don't know. I felt the need to emphasize that this is for you, no matter how negative it feels. Okay. Rebel, rebel, talk nice or don't. I don't care, but please tell Pisces what they need to hear. Hmm. Girl. Girl, boy, they, them, fuck fear. It will lie to your face. And I feel like this is the fear of judgment because you push so hard for this. Um, so fuck fear. Fuck if you uh, feel like you're not going to find nobody else or whatever the case is. You're not going to have another opportunity better than this, whatever. Let that go. All of that comes from fear. You have a feeling. You got a feeling you just can't shake that little voice inside listen to it it's your intuition so if you feel that this person has a third party they do if you feel like they've been lying they have whatever you are feeling about this person it's facts <laughs> it's facts and it is time to let go move the fuck on all right so let's get your crystal spirit Let's hear it. What crystal spirit will serve Pisces the best today? We're at this time. Oh, fluorite and petrified wood. 
Fluorite, that is a, shock, a heart chakra um, stone. I actually just pulled it for someone else, but yeah. Fluorite, okay. Heart chakra stone. And petrified wood. Okay, so let's start with fluorite. And the essential meaning of fluorite says clarity and purity, clear focus, and an end to cluttered thinking. When the way forth is clear, a sense of purpose and enthusiasm arrives and the fog of distraction lifts. Fluorite spirit appears when the confusion is about to disperse, giving away pure wisdom and free, unambiguous intentions. It reminds you that you can achieve clarity by slowing down and consciously choosing to release any confusion or distractions. Like a still pool reflecting the beauty of the sky, a calm state of mind can produce the clarity you seek, allowing your intentions to be pure. Obstacles to co-creating can slip away as you work with fluoride. Uh, to magnify all that is pure, good, and loving within you. Focus on that and it will be amplified. So focus on all that is pure, good, and loving within you and it will be amplified. You attract a reflection of who you are. So this person is obviously not matching your energy, but when you embody positive energy, loving energy, you are going to attract the very same, okay? So we'll work on that. And then the petrified wood message goes as follows. Essential meaning, patience, timelessness, patience and trust in the universal timing and going with the flow. The universe has its own ideas about when and how to bring your intention into form. But we can be impatient, forgetting that time allows the universal consciousness to get the wheels turning so that what we wish to co-create can begin to manifest. The appearance of this crystal is a reminder to trust in the timing of the universe. Good things come to those who wait. Your message right now is to be open to divine order, for you cannot control the timetable or the form in which the universe expresses your intention. Focus on the process putting one foot in the one foot in front of the other as you work on your own growth and healing and what you need will show up in perfect and divine timing all right so i feel like the message here is that you did whatever you had to do to make this situation happen for yourself even if some of the things you did were unfair low vibrational whatever the case is spirit is trying to teach you the lesson that Divine timing has to be respected, okay? You can try to force... <laughs> I don't know why I just heard you could try to force a fart, but it might just be shit. <laughs> but that is, that is basically what this is. I don't know who on my spirit team said that, but that was funny. Um, but that's essentially what this is. You're forcing a fart, and, and it ended up being caca. And so they want you to learn to trust them, learn to uh, rely on what they're doing for you in your life. Like have this inner knowing that everything is going to turn out as it should, as you wish, because you're trusting in your spirit team. You're, you're trusting in the divine. Okay. So tough lesson, I suppose. Spirit, what is the advice? Mm. Stop being so codependent. Be more uh, fearless. Be more confident. Um, and let this shit go. Ten of Wands. It's time to make a judgment call. I'm sorry, Ten of Swords. It's time to make a judge judgment call. Now that you have clarity about what is happening in this situation and what spirit's intentions are for your life, um, they need you to go ahead and make the judgment to end this, to end your pain, to end your suffering. Because um, all you're going to do is attract more of that. 
if that's your constant state. All right, so postcard from spirit. Let us hear it. And it goes as follows. Dearest you, isn't it amazing how things seem to come around again full circle in ways that you could not possibly have planned? You wonder how a dream could die only to be resurrected years later when you're really ready. You thought it was time back then, but your wisdom knows better than your small self, whose desires are unmet. Now, here you are with a new opportunity to do things different, more from a more mature perspective. We want you to trust that in this new opportunity for rebirth, death energy, in this in this <laughs> um, opportunity for rebirth, you will be called into two directions. One that is unfamiliar will be the right one. In the unknown spaces, the uncharted places of infinite potential, we are waiting to guide you to your fullest life. Big bounty will come if you remain in the present. You have come full circle and now you can see that everything changes, is made new and given new hope. Loving you always. All right. So it feels like they're saying you'll get another opportunity for love. You'll get another opportunity for new relationships. And when those come around with this lesson in tow, you will know how to do things differently. You will know how to do things more successfully. You will know how to trust spirit and what spirit is trying to do in your life and stop trying to control the situation yourself, okay? And that's that on that. So anywho, that's your reading. If this resonates for you, Pisces, please let me know how in the comments below. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And until the next time I read for you all, I wish you all love and light. Now go get right and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.